Marita in Washington and this is Live Talk. I am Kip Stube. And I'm Marvelous Msanga Nyabuye broadcasting in my apartment here in Washington DC. And I'm in Maryland and this is another state here in the United States. So now starting our program today we are focusing on you know the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic uh, which has actually uh, been contracted by roughly about 2,417,000 977,000 uh, people. Uh, you know, this is uh, one of the diseases that has actually devastated a lot of communities globally. And when you look at the global figures, uh, I mean, figures supplied by Johns Hopkins University, again, it seems as if uh, 166,066 people have actually died because of COVID-19. In the USA, about 759.786 people have actually contracted the disease. And out of these, over 40,000 have actually died. So when you look at uh, places like Zimbabwe, you know, it's a country that uh, is also affected by COVID-19. And it seems as if uh, already there are about 25 people that have contracted the disease. And uh, out of that, uh, five, uh, three have died. And we see that uh, there are concerns that uh, the disease is actually you know, uh, uh, affecting so many communities in the sense that, you know, people uh, right now are on lockdown. The lockdown was supposed to end today, but it has been extended for two more weeks. Marvelous. Yes, uh, we saw President Emerson Monangakwa extending the lockdown for 14 days. And uh, like you said, uh, Gibbs, the over 2 point, uh, nearly 2.5 million people have actually contracted the disease, uh, COVID-19, worldwide. But also there is good news that nearly over 600 and nearly 40,000 people 640,000 people have beaten the disease worldwide. So that's good news coming in. Uh, and also in the U.S., uh, like you mentioned, uh, also there are 70, nearly 72,000 people have contracted COVID-19 and beaten the disease. And uh, we see that, uh, you know, in, in New York, which is one of the epicenters of the disease in, in the United States, the mayor there uh, built a... Uh, Blasio cancelled all non-essential events through to June, including festival, concerts, and parades. And New York is known for these world festivals, concerts, and parades. So this is uh, what's coming out. And President Trump says he will use Defense Production Act to increase swap production for COVID-19 testing in the United States. Like you said earlier on, there are 21 cases in Zimbabwe with three deaths, including that of Zororo Makaba, who was the, uh, the first patient to actually die from the disease, who put the face on COVID-19 in Zimbabwe. Uh, so many people are asking, how are people going to be surviving during this two-week extension? But then we have the medical health professionals coming in saying, you know what? It's better to survive on a hungry stomach than to die and then not be there in two weeks' time, kids. Yes, marvelous. Kunja alo sivili zirugal dawa. Lama shaka nisi ya kubwa ya pambi ni ngote lolo etu. Olo live talk. Lama sikuluma kona mkulta ni coronavirus COVID-19. Sia mwono kuti mtaba ni onke chikili ni suba mbe abantu. Aba yudula it 2,417,000. Kuzo kuti aba 166,000. Banga zani sivili uba chwali senzi ma umkuta ni loo bapu upa. Lama sikuluma kwa yungu mtaba onke chikili. Masi sika ngela kule meliga kula bantu. Aba figure po se i eight hundred thousand aba se viva njoo umkutani lo aba i dula i forty thousand se be popile wale zimbabwe kula bantu aba kamachuma vivi twenty five a se viva njoo umkutani lo e sangati ge ngao sukanga lo ge kanya zana ba tatu ba chona ngao sukanga lan jalo ge uba kona vivi ukuto aba si la civili e be si la umkutani lo jomba uma vela sisi chonge sisi tim kula bantu sisi la bantu ukanya zana ba si la umkutani lo lo banje ine ng labantu loke ni kula e goto ke kanya wazani yuwa me mente waka kulu e lumkutani sipo hile umonga meli ema so mnanga kwa e siti ke soko e kiezelele ama langa e oguti umkutani lo kuliswa ne lao e kwele zibapwe kunge zelele ke gama fika mafili so wakula wanya wa korona ya vesini hmm so kwa zi umnanga kwa kulu nganga kwa kwa nabanya vesiti hai kwa zi gache so ina liti ni ngaloko e zulugandava ye mafela sikunja alo e we've got some videos from uh, people, uh, marvelous, and one of them is uh, Mr. Rupen 
Chineta. Uh, Ruben Chineta is in uh, Mutare, so he sent us a video and said, uh, you guys, uh, we are suffering because we don't have food. So his main concern is food. I think Marvel has we've had many people complaining about uh -huh. food and food. So uh, let's, let's, uh, let's try to hear what he said about this. Already South Africa in a budget, South Africa has got a manufacturing company, a manufacturing industry, each of Kushanda, each of the fire brand. Sakawa Major won a masala resort during time of Corona. Then Muno Zimbabwe, Tani, Tini small sector, small sector is using a large chunk, Yavano, Barbudin, Arushanda, and one who goes Shangi. Saka at the moment, Kutumun, Awani Kwa Ashenda Munshanda, they are good, one who are a given time, good, Unufan of Shanda for three hours. After three hours, we didn't as well. At least it's why it's why it's a because it was just no more. It was just a job that I see now. Because why they exhaust all the money and guy now. So it was. So now, uh, what Ch 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 Rupen Chineta is saying here is 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 from Tare, you know, marvelous. Mm -hmm. So he's saying that uh, you know, in South Africa, there is money set aside for people. You know, people can get uh, you know some kind of uh, food tokens. And then he's saying that in Zimbabwe, they are not getting that. So he's saying even in terms of work, you know, uh, the government is supposed to say, okay, go to work for three hours, and then you come back and try to do what you can. So now it seems as if, um, you know, he's complaining bitterly about lack of resources in Zimbabwe. And he's comparing everything to Zimbabwe, to, 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 to South Africa. So there you are, marvelous. I was now with some of the Pindam from what you do to not sing a Misa in a Mufaro, a Panopa Life Talk, Sekuza, or Mukita, Sukta, and you're a Tirukumba, Saka, Chirum, what you know, a Chiri pre recorded to know about Tita, Chikapa, a future so it seems what Mungo and Motelera, a Pomangamuku, Bakne Mue, a Mugari, or Pamukari, Bangamar Pita, or even Mamira Gators, you know, a Panyayi, not Shona Kutsi, Mutunga Miruinika, by Emerson Monangawa, Bakawani, where you were to wait here. Wanduwe mazua yekutiva anuwa gare kutimba Ne mazua anuwa nisa iwo kuita 14 days kana uti 2 weeks Saka vangu wa kutia ora iwo wabamburu kuonavu Aba siti iwo shukunya nyoneza inyaya yesi kafu Aba siti ora iwo kutuku South Africa Urumende emo ili kuwa nikuwa iyo isipa jirongwa kuwa garive emo Kutiva wa nikuwa iyo wa shibatiri kapangu wa ino Ye lockdown kana uti yekutiva anuwa gare mozimba Pasiru wa sepanya iyo yi Yeah, we also have uh, a, a report from uh, Alfred Mobe. 
uh, our correspondent in Kwanda. You know, he was uh, attending a function where there was uh, some kind of uh, cleanup exercise. You know, the, the, the government has actually embarked on this program where they are actually spraying some disinfectants in uh, different parts of the country. So they've gone to Arare, they've done it uh, in Bulawayo, and last week they were in Gwanda town. So now uh, the, the provincial minister, Apet Nikonube, is one of those people who actually attended the event. So let's hear what he said about this. <laughs> Please, please, Imitangano in Toban, who tell you a lama churches, Mubaba Mungamel Utenai, the gatherings, Scarezibe Corner, Gazanga Tenai, Ugutanda says in Lidi, Sime I, Gazanga to Jalu Mungamel, Utama gatherings, so that they avoid any Toban is spread, Yana Lumputa, because Yabonga Ban Samaria, Alumile, Elite Lomanges, Ban Stesia Bongakur, it's a Kwangari blanket, get a lago pipis. Yeah, so that is the provincial minister. What he's saying, uh, uh, marvelous, uh, and that is Apet Nikon Nube. Mr. Nube is saying that, uh, you know, people should not, there are some people who are fond of, you know, leaving uh, homes and going to work briefly, and from there, then they go to bars, you know. So he says, according to the government, they should not actually do that. So he says, uh, you know, people must stay put. Uh, if, if they say, you're supposed to go and work in a gold mine. From there, you have got only one way go back home and nothing else. And you also said that, uh, you know, uh, when some people uh, want to have some meetings, they must remember what the president said. Uh, and, and, and the message was people should not go uh, to such meetings, like community meetings, and even church meetings. He said, no, uh, that is not allowed. So, in essence, people are supposed to stay at home. So this is uh, uh, in line with uh, the social distancing, the aspect of the coronavirus uh, uh, prevention uh, kind of uh, measures. So he says, but the president didn't say one thing for people not to pray. He says, yes, you can uh, you don't go to church, but pray at home. So he says, that is allowed. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> So I want to carry on the Bakala Kulu. What is Dala? Is our latter pants over a Abatoli Ulda and Fanelo. So I guess the Kalo Uchos of Chuma, Utas Tumazile, Utioyake, Nancy Use Tumazile, Limuzoge Uti, Utini, Motavalol. Oh, Gazelela, Guamalanga, 
a lockdown, he won a gunny, Cousins, Impilo, even Kuni, a cool, a bantini, a banegi. Nen I would tea Tinangapa Umkonumuetu, Iloana, a subiza sing his city, informal sector, La Pabandu Abafuga Vizenzela, Suzonke, a uning Lamantu Lapa, Bapila. Mwukwanda na mutla batebeze kona hapo Aba kutu ngezingizi from hand to mouth Nga koge Nga agule lockdown nga anje E kutu kutu kena agula mali aba yenzayo Nga lesi sikati So ousalayo Aba ntu singati sisi tibese saba Yona leo pela i COVID-19 Kutu iza wabulala Matrine sebe bulawa injala mwukwayo Nakuri asazi uwana kungam banjo ganjani. Logo ufuna ngabe ukunu mende. Ewele mali hene lisayo. Udi ngagu nje. Akwanise usiza. Amandu nguniga uudla. Lento ezi njalo. Njalo akwanise luguti. Afage imitetu ya utabandu. Benga patala marenti. Ngalezi skate zinje. Ngagu ngaba njalo. Kungaba lula kakulu. Kuda ngagu njalo. So what uh, Mr. Chuma is saying, Marvelous, is that, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 there is a lot of uh, uh, stuff that is going on here. And one of the issues is that, uh, you know, uh, people are working in the informal sector. So in the informal sector, is like you're living from hand to mouth. So that is a very big problem for many people in Zimbabwe. So he says if there's a lockdown and, you know, you are not doing anything, you you literally starve, you know. You cannot support your family. You cannot do anything. So he says, the the, the perhaps uh, the government was supposed to actually uh, you know fend for people uh, of this nature and those that are poor and those that are, uh, have got some households headed by child uh, children, uh, what are called child headed homes. So uh, then he says, you know, the the danger now is people are you know they fear a lot uh, this kind of COVID-19. But at the same time, there's hunger. What should they do? So he says they are in a case 22 uh, situation. So he says at the end of the day, government should find a way, you know, of actually resolving this kind of an issue. Yes, Mavla. And that the Kuti Bachi River Kutam or a Nutir Kutivo, the Makawanda, Vanushana Mabasa Aya, the Kutivamo Tivo, Kanavasha, the Dopa Vano Badarwa, Kanosa Mora, Vanushanda, Emabasa Kutengesa, Uyes, Vanezua, Jesa, Shungati Vending, Nishmus Akadaro, Pakavakuti was a couple of shops today, who remained there once a Yokuanam Kana, where Kuti Bachi, Varpuan, wherever I stand Sana. Ane matambutiko es wane zua ni kutiparisho na wakuti chinga ura ya vashinji kanguwa ino ye two weeks it kana fourteen days it's a way zirwa inye ya ye nzara saka dae urumende ya wana kuti ipa hapo inga ita say kuti wani kwe hiyo ishi batira abo baka chari sana ni ye nzara just coming back to what uh, Mr. Chuma said yes. um, we look, the government has been saying that they've got some money which they are now distributing food uh, has that distribution started? What is the word on the ground? So the word on the ground is that uh, some people are seeing nothing, you know, and while in other places we have seen some food being distributed, for example, in Norton, you know, we saw the member of parliament for that uh, region actually, uh, you know, distributing food to people in different wards, but indications are that that's a self-driven kind of initiative. So the government food, uh, uh, food stuff has not yet reached so many communities. So it seems as if maybe they are starting or they haven't started. So it's not yet clear how the government is actually handling this kind of an issue. I actually asked uh, one of the government officials at the weekend to say, where is this program? But he said, okay, we'll, we'll get back to you uh, by Monday today. So I sent him a message again and said, can, do you, um, can, can, can you send us something to say where you have gone with this program? Then he said, okay, I'll, I'll try. But uh, up to now, I didn't get anything from him. So which means that maybe the government is stuck. You still remember when the government talked about those coupons. You know, out of those coupons, nothing happened. 
So we suspect that maybe the government is still struggling to, you know, uh, do anything in terms of, of that uh, uh, food subsidy. So at the same time, we have people uh, in Plum Tree and other, and other places who are really saying that they are starving. So one of the people sent us a video and we'll play it right now, Mavla. Okay. Yeah, sure. nani, ku studio seven, davala leli, mina e mkulumayo, mkuluma nise mgele nwe butwana, le zimbabe, e patana, e mkwali, kumat sauti. E korona siya iswa, sibili ya kulunya ku studio seven. Ngapa ngobalo misa kazo veli zimbabe ga ibambi. Ogunye ngeso kuzwa ku studio seven. Uguti korona le wabula wayo. Isi kona si bulele umuntu la bantu sewe banyenga ababa njiweyo. Kwa tuwa ngapa giti asi wazi kuti kona gumbega iko. Lo kuti kutawagia kezu iza anda wenzi wanjani. Suguzwe la ku studio seven. Oguta babi yewe sifuni suti senze ganjani agula mwabatina skachana senge leni. Kule priti la kamwa mw 2000. Na namhla nje loko gunja alo. Linga lungi swanga. Kwa tuwa ngapo esi shonene wana izu la kamula, la kamula ama priti ama pase ngakambi. Enyi pasi sima ngapa enye ngangale isi ya shuru kisla ngaweza avantu. Kwa tuwa sogu lungi siwe, sogu hanjwa. Kula ngapo kusele mnyaga le mnyaga 20 years i priti li kamuge loko gunjalo. Mina e mkulumayo yungu ntoko zo nguwe kumisisi msombi maposa. E patana kuwa tu 24 ni mkuluma ngobushungu. Mwaguti ngapa tinukulumende ka sinanzi. Sifuwa la bantu avele avange la isi. Kunga ngono kumbi imwele ibe mneng, ibe mivili. E mashone le sindebele ni. Misha umbo e sindebele lati angasazi kuti singabantu ni avu. So this lady, eh, eh, her name is eh, Mrs. Ntokozo Mube Maposa. You know, she's in a place called Patana. Patana is eh, along the Botswana eh, border. Eh, so she's complaining really. She's saying that eh, they're not getting food from the government down there and they're not getting any information about coronavirus COVID-19. So she says they don't know anything about it except, you know where, eh, via Studio 7. So she's saying that eh, there's no ZPC there, there's nothing. So they're getting information through Studio 7. So I guess we are playing a key role in terms of, uh, you know, giving people the right information about this. But it will be good, eh, according to her, if the government actually goes down there to do something for the people. Marvelous. I was a member of the government. 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 I Eh, kwa ni sapita so eno kwa ni sapita kutivanu ni anyabe kumaruba sa iwo wa wani kwe iwo wa shuwa na odzizi so ye corona virus and doktor wana kwa wanga maruku ita uh, maybe while we are on that same note kids we can actually ask our people if you are on our pages uh, please let us know if food has arrived if you are in the raw area have you seen any food from government let us know kana muru kumamisha kana maka wana rubatiro kubakuru maybe tita ureo pa mapeji zedu e vio e shona a vio e studio seven ne vio e ndebele mchitu uza kuti shaka mira seipa nya e chikafu kane wativa wana e re chikafu uza kuru mende kitu yes we've got some people who are sending a lot of messages one of them is mbuso mklanga he is in south africa uti papa tube linjani yaza bantu wala manga kakulu always think uti south africa yenza right abantu lapa lako e bakala kakulu tube e ngukula right now ama companies ama nengi are trencher in sevens because the coronavirus le ipa kile. Uwe suku siti ke, uwe kubi kala futi pambi le siti. In South Africa, it's no work, no pay. Loku nje, ama kuchoyo, it's not true. So, there's somebody who said, you know, in South Africa, you know, they, they, they are getting a, a, some food. But uh, Mr. Mbuso Mkanga saying, no, that's not the case. So, he's, he's saying, you know, there is still there are serious uh, problems in South Africa as well. So, we also got some uh, uh, audio from uh, uh, Prince Tobago Spanda. He's an M MTC parliamentarian, he's in Pinga. Uh, so listen to what he said about the extension of the uh, of, of the lockdown. Yeah, we can do it. Katia says, Kuluma Sunke says, it was what you could remember. We say, yesterday, the lockdown, I'm a PAC, I'm 14. 
e, ngukubona kwami e, lokhu bekuqakathekile ukuthi kwenzakale isizathu okuye ukuthi khona lo mkhuhlane lokho qamungile elizweni ngase kawuzwisisi kangaka ngoba okwakuqala e, ama testing centers ethu asese maluchwana ngase kabi e, asikabi lokutesta okwaneleyo ikakhulu ka testi ngakutshela mina ukuthi nje makhaya e, khona ukuthi kungabe sokutestwe abantu abanga ke makhaya mbona ngani inamba yelokho yokuzela so ngenxa yalokho ke kuqakathekile ukuthi sisazama ukuthi siwunanzelele lo mkhuhlane njalo ukuthi siwuzwisise e, amalanga engizelwele ukuthi khona abantu bebe ku lockdown mhlawumbe njalo e, kuyanceda ukuthi define ke kuhle ukuthi khona xa sisithi social distancing xa sisithi siku lockdown okunye lokho kuvuliwa okunye lokho akungavulwa siziphathe njani ukwenzela ukuthi impilo noma ingamanga completely yaba ku stand still kodwa at the same time sizama ukuthi ngabele lo mkhuhlane ngoba umkhuhlane lo khaya ngani hayi e ungasithwalisa nzima sengabhayisa yes so mr prince dwegosband the honorable prince dwegosband is saying that uh, you know it was okay for the government to actually extend the lockdown in zimbabwe we know that uh, mabla it was supposed to expire uh, today uh, the lockdown for 21 days so the president actually extended it by um, uh, two more weeks so uh, saying that uh, you know there still need to, there's need to do a lot in zim so uh, mr spanda is saying yes this is okay and this is the way to go so but he says you know the problem is maybe people don't understand the concept of social distancing so he says now is the time for the government to explain to the people to say social distancing is one two three you know he yeah. says that that's the way forward because uh, things are you know they, they don't look uh, uh, right you know in zimbabwe because people are doing whatever they want uh, you know they can just uh, rub shoulders at will and the times they are forced by circumstances to actually do that so over to you marvelous social distancing kana kuti kusamira pedyo nepedyo nekuti chirwere ichi chikuru chiri kutapurirana zvezvipe zvinoitwa zvirwere zvakadai se flu kuti kana ukahotsira chinogona kuenda kune mumwe ndosaka tikuona vanhu vachipeka mamask uye zve vachipeka iwo magrofos saka ndosaka ari kutaura ipo pano vachitiwo zvakakosha kuti vanhu vawani kwe iwo vachiremekedza zvitorwa nehurumende kuti vanhu ndavagari kudzimba Yes, we also have people who are sending in lots and lots of audios, marvelous. Here is one of them. Ninja, I never start as we stood to seven. I'm not a cool man. In King is like him, Zansi. I want to know what color would my passport have was expiring and by COVID 19 be valid. So bezicela lokuthi khona abasela kudla izindlini bahlela izindlini South Africa ibasizi ngalutho eh akukho kudla bakuphiwa nje baba behlela izindlini baye bese sicela ukuthi khona ama ngabe lingasikhulumela ne government ukuthi ikwazi ukusivulela amabhodha mhlambe kombe inyanga mayiphela basivulela amabhodha for 10 days kuphela abantu bekwazi kuma bese khambele emakhaya ngoba hayi uzincedo la lapha sisalukona sesiponenti le siba nzima abantu bazobula endlala behlele ezindli eh kungala sizo abalithulayo bengaguli behleli nje bengasebenzi ngula ngala male abahola amagrant abantu abazimbabwe abalapha abahola amagrant bona abahola abantu base South Africa bana magrand baphiwa ukudla so abantu laba kwama namazwe bona bathwele enzima kakhulu cela ukuthi ngafakela lo leyonkulumo ku ambassade mhlambe bakhulume ne government kwazi ukusiza abantu se nyabo so this gentleman a uh, marvelous is saying that uh, you know the situation in south africa is very bad unlike what uh, most of them are saying is saying you know they are not getting food you know uh, as Zimbabweans and this is south africans getting that kind of food so he says the many Zimbabweans also they put expired passports so they are having problems in that respect and so he says that's that's a big problem and at the same time he was talking about opening 
borders. Uh, uh, he believes that uh, if the government opens borders for only 10 days, it's okay. People can go back home, uh, you know, see their friends and family, uh, because in South Africa they are doing nothing. So to, to them now, South Africa is a liability. Because after this uh, lockdown in South Africa, they are supposed to be paying rent and other things. So they would rather be back home than doing what they are doing right now in South Africa. So that's the issue there. I want to now wish you a good day. There are more trucks who are moving, more trailers who are to ah, we plan to have a view a show and a view a table and a view a studio. So then, I saw that you ah, today we have made a plan. So, the plan is that you want to see Vumira, which is a very cool thing. But today, it's South Africa. We want to talk about Musha. Look, the trailers are which are South Africa. Paris, now, Panama, so are we going to go there? As to we made a guy that was you, it's a very big affair. Eh, my border. Ani kuti suvaru kuta ora iho kuti van waka wanda varu kwa nipo shipati kwa nekovid nineteen van varu kupa kune tume nika kunyangwe shwa shu pane vamu varu mwenye ka parishu na wani kwa shite sta positif kana utuwa shipati kwa nishirwere nishirwere shite covid nineteen so katika kuzo kuti mimi kwa mwuri yiko kukwaka mirafi uye shu kuti iyo yi chirwere shite covid nineteen chumukunya so shintu kuti sa ere kana mwenye ni mfunzo mwono kuna kungonyora ipo pana kuzo wani kwa isu tishiku pindu rai Mangwana tuinge tili pachiro mweshe let's talk nga tukuru kurei Siawe ya ne nya zimu nya ya zizwe utano ni zimu eswa kadaro ke gips Ye hunja alo ke siya wana ke kulo mni mlae zelo ove la kupa mtana Ye mbuso mtana wate stume zele mlae zelo kukala So la kuya kulo muti you know I'm not sure if people don't watch news gips The Zimbabwe embassy in South Africa has offered the Zimbabweans to come forward to be repatriated to Zimbabwe so that's the message for Mr. Mtanga. So maybe we have to make a follow-up on that kind of story that uh, is about the embassy. He uh, wants people to be taken back home. So all those that want to do that, uh, according to Mr. Mtanga, they can do it. They can go to the embassy and actually, you know, uh, uh, go back home. So he says that's very possible, that that is doable. So now we are not quite hey, sure love. of that. Sure, boy, in but, the uh, okay. I will believe that uh, maybe that's the truth, uh, you know. In terms of what is happening, this is from Mr. Mshana. You know what precious Kuzwa who says, please, I want to arrive by me. Mwaguti in South Africa in Ngono. Si atupe kwa kwenye umali sa wala pokole South Africa. Uwela e Zimbabwe kwa fana nje nda uzonke. Uwela uwela usi atingani. Ya kuluma la pomunyo baba. This guy is saying, you know, they are suffering in South Africa. You know, going back to Zim is not the solution here. He says people will suffer more when they go back home. And so he says, you know, things are tough on both ends. So we've got another uh, person who sent us an audio, uh, sorry, a video. And this is a, a pastor, a Macau in Mube. He's in South Africa. Maybe let's listen to what uh, he's saying, Marvelous. <laughs> Kakulu spegane ne simu sale i coronavirus. Echo ngeo kufuna impilo za bantu umshaba wonke. Nyali kutaza wakuti stine kusha nzega ema kaya. E, ngoba njega manje kusati ngega ikambi. Loguti gambe lesi sifo singe ngabelua kanjani. Koto wakushe wakuti tinasifune ama mask. Esu wa seven zisa. Situaye uguya enda wenez labantu abaning esifana na mamuls. Njalo esifana na ma stadiums. E South Africa njenga manje ama nyama kambanisi. Ase valile abantu pa sevenzela ema kaya. Siyali kutaza age shobo inda uzonke uguti. Astrine nukusha nzega. Sis pategashe. Sifuni ama sanitizers uguze. Si kweme les isimo na les isifo eschonge uguta impilo za bantu. Bagiti siya kulega kutungulungulu angenele gule sisimo. Sonke sibe ngaba pepileyo. E, astrineni ugusha nzega, pezu kwa kukonke, si shale ema kaya nguguzi trina guushe. Si... Yeah, so that is uh, uh, Pastor Man, uh, uh, Ngube. Pastor Ngube is based in South Africa, uh, marvelous. So all what you are saying is that, you know, uh, this disease is a very dangerous disease. So people should actually listen to their governments. Whatever is being said by their governments, they should take it very seriously. Because he says, uh, you know, this disease kills. And then he says, people uh, with money, they can buy masks and, masks and share with other people because these masks are a problem. So
So he says social distancing is one thing that has been emphasized by a lot of people. So he says, yeah, that's the way to go. Uh, because, uh, you know, social distancing, it ensures that you don't rub shoulders with those people that are infected. Uh, uh, you know, and if you are infected yourself, you don't infect others. So if I say that if you've, you've got some sanitizers, share with other people. So this is a message of love, you know, in communities. Mm -hmm. Marvelous. Kunjalo mm -hmm. I want to put on the trucks, what trucks were putting if I never talk to our doctor or I will put a shaka kosha. I put you on the Patani Pakuru's relationship to COVID 19. Where could you evoke and a pie in the one who was 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 a mungwaya fura uye zee chukona parizino aa pane wanu wanuda kutusika evo wanuda uzira 2 million wa wani kwa wajibati kwa nechiru wele isi pasiru ose muzimbabwe parikuzi ipo e, pane wanu 25 wa wani kwa evo wajibati kwa nechiru wele isi uye zee wa mwe 3 wa chishaya gibs ye yeah, unja alo mavilas e venzamuti ntinge ge ama oti yo abante wa kurumisi shona e so mbona zani ntole inye kutangila shuwa utu teni wati sinzu elapa ke uti utu teni kwa sikuma zeli oti yo yake Makadi makadi vashamara si tu seve mukosi kwa muri koko e mutarona kilopa si chota riku na uchupe ke zungumza si chokoza e nashi kumbro kuti nini pana urongo au kai tika ukuti wata kwenye dako mshanga wa yuleshe kwa mtwa play online si chuko kwa shaka tinzenga ende shaka tika kupito saka soka uchupe saka Paris na tatu na zaidi kuziwa hasta nzoto uwe di kuniwa mwarato kwa kuda kwenye dako mshanga Tikiri there you are, marvelous. There you are. Yes, our caller there gives was saying that um, mm -hmm. he heard that there is a program where the embassy is repatriating people back to Zimbabwe, but he says that this happened in Pretoria, but he is in Johannesburg. So he's saying he wants to know more details about how he can actually go back to Zimbabwe. He says he's not the only one. There are a lot of people that want to go back home, but they want to take advantage of the program being offered by the embassy. South Africa, Paris, South Africa, Pretoria. Yes, Lapa and Jalo, others to Mazilla, Motio Zabo, a Achene or Mavilas, a Slumuba Valapalae, was to Mazele Eaki. What and this would you tell? Ninja never stars, just to seven. No book, my. Eh, in King is like a like M Zansi. A Bantavane, what color would have a passport? I was expecting a low game, so some Dalamana. I was a Dalanian, Islam, Bosom, Choma. I see you watch the singers come to the spoke, Sarah, and Christianello. I as now I mean, I'm yet to end up for Poker Home Christianova. And when I went to Corn and Yellow. Yeah, so what uh, this gentleman was saying was, you know, uh, he has nothing to say because this disease actually kills. So people must actually listen to the government. And his name is uh, Mr. Mbuso Chuma. He's a 78-year-old uh, gentleman and he lives in Silovela. So you are saying that uh, people, this disease is very dangerous. So take heed of what uh, the government 
is saying. We also have uh, another one that has been sent right now by one of the listeners. Can you listen, uh, Mabulas? Yes, I'm going to say that we go to Studio 7, Lavala Lelwan Gresenbank. I'm going to say that I'm going to go to the Hey, <laughs> Um Ungai <laughs> Singing so that's a gentleman in Tokwane that is in Plumtree. So he's saying that, uh, you know, they've got problems. One, they fear that coronavirus is going to kill people. And secondly, they fear that hunger is going to take its toll. So they are in a very difficult situation. So he says that, uh, you know, uh, they used to rely mostly on these people that carry goods from South Africa to Zim or Botswana to Zim. You know the Malaitans, right? So he was saying every time they will look forward to getting something from Malaitans. But these days they can't because, uh, you know, the borders are closed. So in a way, he's saying that life has become very, very difficult uh, in Tokwane. And then at the same time, he says he had that the government was going to distribute about $200 for each household, you know, to help. Uh, that is 200 pounds. So he says, but honestly, 200 pounds is nothing. So you cannot even buy a 2 kg bag of sugar with that kind of money. So he says, now that the government has been talking about uh, the use of the US dollar and others, why not uh, use the dollar, you know, in terms of purchasing uh, commodities in Zim? So he says, food, food and food is a problem. Marvelous. <laughs> So, Marvelous, what I'm talking about is a video that was sent by one of our correspondents uh, that is um, uh, 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 in Chinoi. You know, it was showing this scenario where people were jostling for uh, uh, millimen. So, uh, there are some experts who are saying that's the worst thing you can do 
you know, in terms in terms of this COVID-19. So they are saying that can lead to serious infections, right, Marvellous? Yes, uh, you're absolutely right there, Gibbs, because I think, you know, a lot of people uh, now, like you and I, we are working from home, but we also have to uh, observe certain protocols because this disease is not discriminating uh, who exactly uh, gets it. Uh, you can get it from, you know, just merely in a supermarket, someone sneezes at you, so they are actually advising people to go out there wearing masks, so like... Um, Gibbs is saying over there right now that uh, at the moment, this is what the world is fighting against this COVID-19 because it does not discriminate. coronavirus. <laughs> Our circle message <laughs> Yes, some people in Manama communal lands that is Kuala South. So these people are saying that uh, you know the only snack that is in this program is because they are not accessing any food. So food has become a major issue here when you look at uh, this coronavirus COVID-19. So they are saying, you know, there used to be uh, some uh, NGOs that were distributing food in Manama, but now there's nothing. So people are literally starving there. Remember, you know, Zimbabwe has been having a serious problem with drought and other issues. So, so many people, up to about, you know, 7 million people or more, were actually in need of um, food aid, uh, by the start of this year, and so now I guess the numbers are actually up. So we need to uh, make a follow-up maybe to check how many people uh, need food. So now uh, we've got Umama Lapa Okunangale in Manama. Her name is Gretis Moyo uh, Manala. So let's hear what she says about this food problem. So I'm trying to cue her in now, uh, Marvellous, so that... Uh, she can actually express herself about this hunger issue. So let's try again. So what the lady is saying, that is a, a Mrs. Katie Smoyo Manala. She's saying that, you know, the problem here is a, they used to, uh, you know, depend on selling one or two things at home there. But now you cannot do anything because you're tied to a stake. You cannot leave home. So uh, there's no way you can buy what you want and then come back and give kids. So he says, uh, you know, remember that uh, Manama is a place where, which, which is ravaged by, by drought. So she's saying that uh, it's a very, very serious problem. We also have uh, a, another gentleman, by the, a, a gentleman by the name Kalani uh, uh, Matangu. Kalani Matangu is in Ubuvuma. Uh, in Gwanda South as well. So he's expressing almost the same sentiments. Uh, let's listen to what he said about this. So 
Kanya Mapasi are handy, plus footy a a mashup sinaco is in Dorat is very tolerable and a cool cool receive with the Messina went over name. Our cellar way with Bangans and Janut Banga with the Major Novas is in Dosa Tennessee short and winning. So you're saying that uh, there was a lot of traffic in, in the area where he is right now in Kwanda South, but now there's no traffic, nothing, no food supplies. So, you know, he's saying the situation is really bad. Over to you, Mabla. Yeah, I think we've got uh, another audio that was sent by a uh, Shona speaking person. Let's listen to what uh, this person is saying. Makadi, Makadi wa Shamara Rewe Studio 7. Indi no the blessing. Diri kuku no Guston Ridge. Kuno vandi kuku umega mara re maka wina. San PF. Taka kunyoru kwa shima zita zedu. Kare. Asina nasa atina kana chata chita wana. Look down ya kashika pa kupere ya kutanga. Wachina ene jimtodo wa chiti zikafu shicha uya. Bata apaka kana chakawe. Nesita pinda mune ya chipiri. Fone rai. Wano sponsor chikafu. Bata apana chikafu chakapo uya. Nesita pinda mluk down ya chipiri na naso. Zurungu uta uronzi zingurumende hacho. Chawonza ya chikafu. Chikafu chacho chicha uya rini. Zekunye ya banzo ya gazega. Zirina nukuti wa gare wakati taurote. Apana chikafu. Munungatu one. Zaka it zano gona kuziti rata saini ndaka to kuara and kwa nisi kana kuziti mbundi ndo chenge tamuri yesi hapa antina kana pikutu wa mbota ngira kana cheku bata urumendi chacho kana chitle ya kunye paswa kadai suwano aywa taneta na zesu there you are marvelous aha we're hearing there our caller there is just saying that um you know he's echoing the same sentiment as the last caller that he, although, you know, things, you know, he's observing the lockdown, but there's no food, there's nothing to eat. He's saying that the government needs to review this policy, especially when it comes to food distribution. He says he's from an area where Zanopi have one and six in Harare, Stonebridge, he said. And he said, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, I think, MP or councillor in that area came and took down their names, uh, but nothing came out of it. Right now, they are still waiting for some kind of um, uh, food aid or some kind of uh, COVID-19, um, you know, food hamper because he's saying his family is really starving right now. Uh, but he was, you know, quick to say, you know, the government needs to step in or to do something, especially for those that have families that cannot fend for themselves. Gibbs. Yes, it seems as if uh, people are really in a tight situation, marvelous. And we see that uh, everyone... Uh, that is sending audios that we speak to here they are complaining about this food uh, situation so i tried to get in touch uh, with uh, 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 the permanent secretary of information uh, and he was uh, actually he didn't come forward with information that i wanted you know on what is supposed to be happening uh, right now in zimbabwe in terms of uh, you know this food aid and all those kind of things so i will send him another message and request uh, maybe for him to send us some information uh, to this respect in terms of food. What is happening and all those kind of things. I think um, even Joseph Chuma of Zanupiev also expressed the same sentiment, saying that uh, you know food has become a problem uh, in Zimbabwe during this kind of lockdown. And the extension is going to devastate a lot of people. So uh, there's need for government to immediately intervene. So we've got another video, uh, marvelous, uh, coming from one of the listeners. So let's listen to what the person says. Mm -hmm. 
Mina umbuzo amba sasa wiki. Jengo ba kuna alum kusha. Iga kula iki kaya ismabu. Mauti ya pega avantu avala mpoku. Avantu avala gulu. Tenguzo vya kutibale ntoli yaba yuza nge social distance. So, kuzo yanzu waganja. Kuguti avantu wa wazugu yanza leo wanto nganani. Mwaba avantu pila wifuna ugulu. Ukumende wenza ni utiku ngabila leo utangana uminyana wabandi na uguli. Nyozo pinda kuti ngubuze nguguti. Mauti ya pega inamba ya wabandi wa sebe testi wa iga kule zimbabwe. Nduchwa nika kufuzo. Nga nguguti la wabandi wa sebe wachiwa. Ika mende ingabienza na okwa nyele. Nguguti iteste abandi kuti zibi iwa zuguti. Eee. I chole lava vanta vado mkuta nwa wazo kusi za gala Mbu za mwe stream wakuti umatia peko gobla wayo Mbwana mani spele la ziko esi mweni seto mkuta Sana ziko esi mweni esi fanele Uti singa wazo kumila na lo mkuta Ngawe i government ya ngeti sana i kansili uwana I wazo kuti i yenze i spele la seto mkuta Si wazo kumila na lo kula na various so there you are, Mavras. That is Paul Lovu. So he's saying a lot of things here. He's saying, you know, uh, food is a problem in Zimbabwe, and so people cannot necessarily do this social distancing issue. You know, he's saying that uh, it's difficult to actually do that because you'll be looking for food. He also went further to say that, uh, you know, what is uh, worrying is that maybe the government is not helping uh, the situation at all uh, because there is not supplying the necessary uh, food and other things for people to, to actually use so that they are cushioned while they are at home. So, and then he talked about testing people, you know, in terms of in terms of figures. So we know that the government has actually tested up to about 1,675 people, I guess. Uh, that's the figure there. So he says, but maybe the government could have done more, you know, in terms of testing people because just having that low figure means that uh, a lot is not being done, you know, in the country. So that's what he's worried. And then he's saying uh, also hospitals like Tom Grove and others in Bulawayo are not uh, yet ready to take in, uh, you know, patients. But we know that uh, one person has been admitted to a Tom Grove isolation center in Bulawayo. Over to you, Marvelous. Uh -huh. Right, so his question is, you know, how is the government assisting people during this time 
of the lockdown. So he's really saying that, uh, you know, th there's a problem here, government should help. But I think uh, we are almost uh, through with our program today, marvelous. And we wish to tell people that uh, this is a pre-recorded show and uh, we are going to try by all means to bring you uh, this kind of information on a daily basis. So now uh, I think our time is up and we thank all those people who actually joined us tonight on Studio 7 Live Talk. And remember that uh, this is your medium for communication. So always come about and we chat and we share ideas. This is what we call a public sphere. Senate office keeps you in Washington, D.C. saying, don't miss all, any of our programs. Bye-bye, Zimbabwe. I want in the name of Mr. Sanganya, we are sitting at Sangane, so carry Mangwana, such a way to say, let's talk and get to Kurukure. We are a secretary who came on a woman, the Namana, Shuko, Mashuko, a Utano, Tiovan, Gavagari, the past, which of his papa one with you, but my special, ready to check COVID 19, cannot coronavirus. Bye-bye.